you're going out tonight. Why not make a statement? This style works best on hair that is stretched. I've already made a clean side part and now I'm finger parting across to the other side to make a large U-shaped section for my pompadour. But I'll be working on this section last, so I clip it away and work on the back. In the back, I make a horizontal part across from ear to ear. And when I'm done, I end up with three large sections in the front, middle, and back. I style the middle section first by smoothing down my edges with water and a bit of gel for a sleek look. Then I use this 5 inch banana clip to secure this section vertically. I then bring the ponytail forward and pin the ends under the banana clip. For the back section, I part it down the middle. Then using a bit more gel, I roll and tuck the hair inwards starting at the nape of my neck. I continue to roll, tuck, and twist bringing the end of the twist across to the opposite side, running it along the edge of my banana clip, and then pinning the end at the top of my middle section. I repeat this twisting process with the remaining hair in my back section. When done, this is how the back should look. I then release the front section, smoothing down the hair closest to one of my side parts and securing with a bobby pin. I do this to encourage my pompadour to lean slightly to one side. Making the pompadour is pretty easy. I simply twist the ends, then bring them back and secure with a bobby pin. I try to pin it close to the top of the middle section so that the hair makes a smooth visual transition when seen from my profile. To finish off the look, I wanted to incorporate the black and white monochrome trend. With red lips, of course, and a pair of killer heels, and my statement pompadour. Thanks for watching.